Lesson three is about building quadratic functions from geometric patterns. So figure A is a large square. Figure B is a large square, um, taking away a one by one square. And figure C is two of the large squares plus a square of one. So if we looked and the side length of the large square were four, what I'm gonna do is just draw a picture. So in this situation, we have to find the area here. So if the uh, area of the large square, if the side lengths are four, the area on the inside is four times four, which is 16 square units. So we would just put 16. So figure B, if we take the area of 16, so again, the large square is 16, but we're subtracting off that one by one square, it'd be minus one, which would give us an area of 15 square units. And then the area of uh, figure C, if the side lengths were four by four, remember we would have our 16, our area square that has an area of 16, another 16, and then our area of one. So if I add 16 plus 16, I'd get 32, plus one would give us 33. So now in this situation, uh, I'm gonna draw another picture. If we had a square that was x by x, multiplying on the inside, the area would be x squared. In this situation, we would have the x squared, but minus one. So again, the big square is x squared minus the one. And then here we would have x squared plus another x squared. plus another one. Well, if I add one of the x squareds plus one of the x squareds plus a constant of one, we would add the two uh, coefficients in front of x squared and have two of the x squareds plus one. Now, if the side length were four x, so let's draw a picture here. If you have a square that is 4x by 4x, 4 times 4 is 16, and then x times x is x squared. So this large square would be 16x squared. And then here we would take our 16x squared, but subtract off 1. And then here, again, we would have uh, 16x squared plus another 16x squared. And then plus 1. So my like terms, I would add the 16 and the 16 on the x squareds because the x squareds have the same variable. So that would give me 32x squared. And then I would add my constant of 1. Notice I don't add those because x squared has a variable, or 32x squared has a variable x squared, but 1 doesn't. So we would just write this as 32x squared uh, plus 1. So this gets a little bit uh, more interesting. So if I have this where it's x plus 3 times x plus 3. So what you can do here is write this in a few different ways, but if you have x plus three times x plus three, I can write that as x plus three times x plus three, or in parentheses, just x plus three squared. So here I would take my x plus three squared, but then I would subtract one. So in parentheses, x plus three squared, and then plus one. And then in this situation, I would have x plus three squared plus another x plus three squared, or I would have two of those, so I can put two parentheses, x plus three squared, and then I add on just the one. 